It's very easy to model yourself after Sam in a sense that you want to be, you want to have that personality when you compete because, I mean, you see him, he's like always having a good time and you're like, oh, I want to have a good time too. Well, both my parents were gymnasts. I was just born to flip around and do crazy things and acrobatics and ever since then it was just come easy and it's always been fun for me. He's a happy guy. I've very rarely seen him get even just a little bit upset. He always just has this positive vibe going on around him. Coming from sunny California, it's, uh, the winters of Michigan is quite drastic. It wasn't until I came to college that I actually buckled down. I know if I didn't have my teammates, I wouldn't be here today. It's having that high level of gymnastics always happening around me that really pushed me to the next level. The very first event on floor, for some reason I just took off weird and I landed short and I guess people told me they could hear it just like snap. After I broke my ankles, I had a lot of opportunity to, you know, better my pommel horse routine. People talking about, oh, what's the 2012 Olympic team going to be? Like, I wasn't on the, any of the lists. And so, in a way, that was probably part of the motivation that really pushed me to actually get my name out there and be one of those people that is a contender. Something about getting up in front of a crowd, saluting your hand, and your heart starts racing that I just get really excited to just show off in a way, because all gymnasts work so hard in the gym and you don't have very many opportunities to show how hard you have actually been working.